So welcome back. Uh, now we'll talk about containers. Okay. So first, I will give you an example, and then I will use containers uh, in uh, the platformer project. Um, so containers is available for free version, and it's uh, it's a bit hidden. It's kind of hidden. Families, you don't have it, but you see it all the time. Uh, whereas containers are a bit of a hidden feature. It's documented, but it's not. It doesn't stand out in the editor. So uh, I will show you how it works. Um, so I will make again some coins. Uh, okay, coins. I have a coin. Uh, recite the layout. Uh, copy. I wish there were uh, keeping my. Uh, there was something keeping my uh, my uh, presets of layout, or maybe there is, but I, I didn't uh, check that. Here you have some coins, and maybe I use. I already used it in the picking example, but here I will stress uh, a bit more how it works. Containers <coughs> is a way to pair to make a, a group of object type, and um, this group should kind of work as if they were one only thing but in s just some uh, situation let me uh, rephrase it in a container you can see it uh, let me enable the drawing uh, feature <coughs> a container you can see it as a group of object type <laughs> funny one um, you have three objects in your containers you have three objects in your container these objects can be of from any plugins first thing any plugin so you can have a sprite object you can have paired with a type background paired with uh, an array, paired with uh, uh, every um, object that are uh, that can be more than that can appear more than once. For instance, the function object is what is called single uh, within a construct. What is called single glo I forgot the L global. And by this, single global means it can only exist once in a whole project. Single global, you have the mouse plugin, you have the keyboard plugin, you have the touch plugin, the function plugin, and uh, we'll see. If I uh, if I come across another single global plugin, I will say, oh, it's a single global. I think the Ajax plugin is single global. Is it? Yeah. The XML plugin might not be single global, etc. Anyway, you can pair, uh, for instance, uh, a dictionary. I didn't talk about dictionary, but it's a data structure plugin. You can pair pair uh, a sprite and a type background in a container. So what happens when objects are gathered in a container object type not object but object type they will follow um, I'd say three rules the three rules they, f they will follow if if is if one of them is created if one instance of them is created another instance for each of the other will be created so there 
are kind of bind, binded by the creation. The same way, when an object type, type is destroyed, an instance sorry, of an object type in a container is destroyed, all the instance uh, corresponding to this one will be destroyed as well. So they are following each other in terms of being and not being. And the last uh, thing, rule, containers follow if, if I pick one of the instance of a container the instance they are paired with will be picked. That's the three rule of containers. I don't think I'm forgetting any of those. Yeah, three rules of containers. So, how does it work uh, here? So, let me just see because I'm curious. Uh, I think web storage should be a single global, but not this one because you can load multiple XML, you can't load multiple XML in the XML object. I think, uh, uh, let me see, yeah, you have the choice to make it global, not global, and you have the choice to create multiple XML objects. That's more what a single global is. Uh, yeah, you can't have multiple instances of function if I uh, do a start of layout and want to create an object I don't have function so you can't have more than one instance of the function object you can have more than one in I don't know let's see you can create I was right another XML object so you can have more than one instances so they can be Yes, you should be able to pair them in a container. <coughs> Let's see how we pair something, how we group objects in containers. I will s use a text object, exactly uh, how I did it in, uh, in the picking video. Center, so I can place them here. <coughs> and I will create a container. To create a container, you select any object you want to put in the container. Then you scroll in the property, you have container and create. You can choose either the any objects that appear here, and you will be able to contain them. The um, the why uh, does the container appear in property? They could have made a container folder here, but by using a container folder, they might you might end up uh, wanting to uh, put the same object in different containers. It's something you can't do. If you have, uh, let's say, another object, I will just clone this one to make a new object type, and I will just uh, change color and shape like this. If I want <coughs> to create a container like this, and then a container like this, the, the thing you might want to do is, okay, I have this object, it's not in a container, and I will just add you can't add the sprite object to the sprite to object container. An object that is in a container can be in an other container. <coughs> Square coin. However, an object that is already in a container, you can add another object to its container. So now those three objects are on the same container. Alright. So basically, when you want to add multiple objects in a container, you start from one object and you add everything you want to add to this object. I will remove the XML. Uh, yeah. 
I remove the XML and delete. Okay. All right. So what happens when I just I will put this here and this here? What happens when I uh, launch the game like this? I will. I don't have any event. I just have this, this, and this in the same container. And these are instance of the same subject, uh, same object type. Sorry. I launch, and what happens is this. So what happened is a good question. Let me just add something like every tick, so we are sure, and move to button. I will move the square to the bottom of the layer and relaunch the game because I know what happened and I want to make it appear. Okay, that's what happened. The, the square was just on top. What happens is this is my first uh, instance. This is the, the first instance I created on my uh, layout. And these ones are the default ones. On start of layout, as I said, uh, objects in a, contain in a container I are binded by uh, the creation process. Since um, when you start of layout, you start the layout, uh, you are creating the object that you that you put it in the layout. They will create the objects, the containers object alongside the objects that already are placed in your layout. That was a uh, weird decided. So when you start your layout, every object that are um, in your layout at edit time here will be recreated at runtime. The moment they will be recreated, they will check if they are in containers with some Thing else, and they will create instances of object type they are in container with if the instance doesn't exist already. Ah. You may remember that instances have, have instance ID, and I think that is what is used to know which one is paired with which one. Let me, uh, let's say this one is instance ID 0, this one will be instance ID 1. So if you trigger, you will create a new, the, the process will exactly do this. It will go through the container, it will say, okay, a coin has a text, we'll create a new text. A coin has a square, we'll create a new square. That's why you think we're invisible. And then in the every tick, I say, push this to button, please. So you end up with something like this. The thing you may have noticed also is that it creates the object. There were uh, when uh, Ashley wrote uh, this uh, mechanism. I think there were two solutions to uh, where the object should be created. Either you say, okay, the position is not set, so I will create at zero zero. Or the other solution was well created where the one of the object already exists. Uh, ah. So is there well, this solution or the solution to put everything where the object already exists, which is kind of more logical if you have to choose between this one and this one. This one makes more sense. So. In a, a sub rule of the creation rule is they are created at the same place as the object. For instance, let's say I have a mouse plugin and I click anywhere. So I do mouse on click, left click. I want to create a new coin at the position of the mouse. <coughs> so it's create. I always mix up the create object uh, coin at mouse.x mouse.y 
here what will happen 